Hi, now in this video, we are going to talk about conditionals in solidity. So when I am saying conditionals, I am talking about if else condition inside our solidity programming language. So like any other programming language, we can use if else condition inside solidity as well. The only thing is that we cannot use if else condition at contract level. So like our loops, we need to create if and else condition in order to use if and else, we need to use functions. So let's say I want to create one function. Let's say it is checking whether a number is greater than or less than. Okay, so, uh, like something like that. So let's say uint a, b, and then public, po, and then returns. Okay. And then let's say I want to check whether a is greater than b. So if a is greater than b, then inside this, what I'm going to do is let's say I want to return one. Okay. Else, else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to return zero. So this is how we actually use if else inside our solidity. So if this condition will be true, then it will return us with one. If this condition will be false, then it will return us with zero. So now let me deploy this. So let's say I'm passing two and three. So definitely this condition will fail. So it will go to this else condition checking. So here you can see that it is returning us with this zero. Now let's say you want to also check whether A and B are equal. Then what you can do is instead of uh, just having else, you can also have else if. Okay. So as I said, like any other programming language, you can use else, else if else, like all these things that you might have used in any other program language. So let's say if else if a equal to b in that case what i can do is i can return let's say two so anything it's just to demonstrate you that how we can use if else condition inside solidity okay so now if we can we will check deploy and now let's say i want to check for two and three which is okay zero let's say i want to check for three and three now you can see that it is returning us with two because three is not greater than three so it is going for this three is equal to three that's why it is written us with this two okay so this is how you use if else condition inside your salty programming language i hope you enjoyed this video meet you soon in the next video if you have liked this video if you have liked this video please click on that like button if you are new to this channel please subscribe to this channel because i am regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel so meet you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye and do not forget if you have any doubts please comment below okay